This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 25% off today by visiting hover.com slash misdownload. Hey, welcome to Miss Download. I'm Cheryl Poirier. Growl! No, I'm not warming up for the Broadway revival of Cats. Growl is a handy little notification program for Windows and Mac users. It's full functioning for Mac users, but it's in the beta stage for Windows. For PC users, because it's in the beta stage, you have to download plugins for specific applications, then run the application like iTunes, then link Growl with that application. Now, don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. It's just an extra step. The list is a little light right now for PCs, but if you're really jazzed about Growl and you want to use it in its full-on form, go buy a Mac. But don't tell Andy from Lab Rats that I said that, please. So basically, Growl lets you know when things have happened on your computer. Like a friend comes online, a download finishes, an email drops in your inbox, things like that. You can choose how you want to be notified and what to do with that notification. When you first install the program, it will walk you through some settings. Now, under, this, under the general settings tab is where you pick your notification sound and whether you want the program to start up automatically when you log in. The display, it lets you choose where the notification will be and what it looks like. Mine is in the upper right-hand corner. It doesn't overlap with my Skinny Tunes player. Network actually allows you to send and receive notifications from other computers on your network, which is kind of cool. So when you ask your husband, hey, honey, did you get that email my mother sent us? He can't say no because you know he was notified when it came in. Pretty basic and cool, but here's where it gets neat. And applications, is that's where you can customize Growl notifications for specific apps. So click on the name on the left-hand side of the panel, and the list of notification and type will appear in the center, which is great. So let's look at iTunes, because that's what I have. So one of the settings I've got notifies me when a track finishes downloading, but also when a new track starts playing. Now, you can customize that by changing how long the notification stays, even if it appears at all, and you can actually turn the notifications off, and they'll be saved in history. Let's just bring up iTunes here. Here. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to play another song. You should hear it. Oh wait, yeah. Let me just hit play. <laughs> uh, I'm just starting a song by, by Michael Bublé. That's what Growl does. So when you're working with individual applications, you can customize just about everything for that specific app. You want the sounds to be different, you can change that, or the location of the growl. All of it can be changed from the default settings. So a handy little program if you're one of those people who sit at a computer all day without moving or working until your eyes bug out and you miss all the day's emails, friend conversations, and tweets. And another thing, growl is free. That's why we really love it. So go to Two Cows, download growl, and check out me at butterscotch.com. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 25% off today by visiting hover.com slash misdownload.